Okay guys, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from Hibbler Dynamics and the problem says that the ball is ejected horizontally from the tube with a speed of 8 meter per second. Find the equation of the path y equals to f of x and then find the ball's velocity and the normal and tangential components of acceleration when t is equal to 0 0.25 seconds. Now, as we can see that uh, this ball leaves the tube with a horizontal velocity. The vertical component of the velocity at point A is 0. So, first let me write that V A is, this is, we can say that this is the horizontal component, right? So, this is Vax is equal to Va is equal to 8 meter per second and we can write that the vertical component that is Vay is equal to 0 meter per second. Now, in the problem statement it is said that first find the equation of the path that is y as a function of x. So, now since this ball is having the projectile motion, so we can use the uh, projectile motion equations that is the kinematics equation for the projectile motion and we can find y as a function of x. So now first of all we will apply the horizontal motion of this ball while considering the projectile motion. So as we know that x is equal to x naught plus uh, v a x into t. So we are considering the horizontal motion and the 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 point A is at the origin. This is the positive x-axis and this is the positive y-axis. Y so, we are considering that uh, towards the right is the positive x-direction. So, x naught is the initial position. So, the initial position of the ball is at the origin. So, at A, x naught is equal to 0. So, this x naught is equal to 0. So, we can write that x, A, x naught is 0 and V A x is v a x is 8 meter per second so we will write 8 into t and now from this we can write that uh, t is equal to x divided by 8 now if we apply the vertical motion uh, the the kinematics equation for the vertical motion and if we consider that this is the positive direction so again we can write that y is equal to y naught plus uh, v a y into t plus 1 divided by 2 into g t square. So now as we can see that the positive uh, vertical direction is in the upward direction that is this is the positive y direction. So the velocity is if the if the velocity is considered to be positive in the upward direction then the acceleration uh, due to gravity is acting in the downward direction since the velocity in the uh, the velocity is acting in the downward direction this is the velocity direction since the ball is going in the negative y direction so if the ball is going in the negative y direction so so we can say that g is minus 9.81 so this is y is equal to y naught is 0 since the the initial position of the ball in the y direction is again 0 since the ball is at the origin at point A. So y naught is 0 and similarly v a y is equal to 0. So this term is 0 and this term is 0 as well. So we will write 1 divided by 2 and g is minus 9.81 into t square. So minus 9.81 divided by 2 is minus 4.81. 905t square. So now we can write that y is equal to minus since we are required to find the path equation that is y equals to f of x. So this is y equals to f of t right. So we need to replace this t as a function of x. So this is we can write that this is uh, minus 4.905 and instead of t we can write that x divided by 8 we can substitute t equals to x divided by 8 so this is x divided by 8 square now we can write that minus 4.905 into x square divided by 8 square right this is so we can find this uh, y, y as a function of x 
so this is uh, minus 4.905 divided by 8 square which gives us uh, y equals to minus 0 0.077 x square so this is y as a function of x now if if we look into this free body diagram so let's say that this is the position of the ball and so this this is the positive x direction and and, and this is the the negative y direction remember that our positive y direction is in the upward direction this is in the upward direction is our positive y direction so and the tangential direction is the tangential direction will be the along the tangent to the path this is this this is the path of the motion right and this is the tangential direction and the normal direction is going to act towards the center of the curvature this is the curvature and this is the normal direction and the positive tangential direction is always uh, in the direction of the increase in the velocity so the velocity is increasing in in the downward direction so this is the positive tangential direction now in the problem statement it is said that find the equation of the path which is y equals to f of x so this is y equals to f of x and then find the ball's velocity so the ball's velocity when t equals to 0 0.25 seconds so we have to find the tangential velocity of this ball so we know the the v, v, vx this is the velocity of the ball in the x direction so this vx is 8 meter per second and since the ball is having the projectile motion so the, so the horizontal component of the velocity always remains constant so we have to find v, uh, vy which is going to act in the downward direction we have to find this component of the velocity so we know y as a function of t as well we know this y as a function of t so let me write that y is equal to minus 4.905 t square so now vy will be the component of the velocity in the y direction will be equal to vy and that will be dy by dt so this is we need to take the derivative of this so the derivative of this will be minus 4.905 into 2t and we want to find the ball's velocity when t equals to 0 0.25 seconds so let's substitute this t value equals to 0 0.25 so this will give us the vertical component of the velocity when the ball is uh, travels a distance some distance and that is after 0 0.25 seconds so this is minus 4.905 into 2 into 0 0.25 so this is minus 4.905 into 2 into 0 0.25 so this gives us the velocity uh, magnitude in the vertical direction so this is minus 2.453 meter per second and this this negative sign tells us that the velocity is acting in the in the negative y direction so oh, the negative y direction is in the downward direction so this is the negative y direction so now we can write that uh, this this vy magnitude is now known and that is equal to 2.453 meter per second now the resultant of uh, this vx and this vy will be the velocity uh, magnitude and that velocity must be acting along the tangential direction so let me represent that tangential will uh, tangential velocity and that tangential velocity is going to act in the positive t direction and let's say this is v so now we can find that v magnitude v magnitude will be we can write that by using the pythagoras theorem v magnitude will be equal to v x square plus v y square under the square root and this v will be at t equals to 0 0.25 seconds so now v x is given we can write that v x is 8 square plus vy is 2.453 square under the square root so this is 8 square plus 2.453 square and this gives us the velocity magnitude equals to 
8.367 meter per second. So now this is the velocity magnitude which was required at t equals to 0.25 seconds. Now since we want to find the acceleration and we know that uh, the since the velocity in the x direction is constant so if vx is constant the acceleration in the x direction is zero since there is no change in the horizontal component of the velocity since the ball is having the projectile motion and the acceleration in the y direction is equal to minus g and that is equal to minus 9.81 meter per second square so now let me uh, remove these uh, velocity components and let's show the acceleration now let's say that this this green arrow is the acceleration in the y direction so this is acceleration in the y direction which is equal to minus 9.81 or let's say that this is 9.81 the, the minus sign is telling us that it is the acceleration is in the negative y direction so this is this a y magnitude is uh, 9.81 meter per second square and the and there is no horizontal component of the acceleration so the acceleration is only acting in the downward direction that is 9.81 meter per second square now we want to find the tangential component of the acceleration and the normal component of the acceleration so the tangential component of the acceleration must be acting in the tangential direction like this so let's say that now this now this arrow is the tangential acceleration this is the tangential acceleration and the normal acceleration must be acting in the towards the radio uh, towards the center of the curvature right so that will be this will be our normal acceleration this will be our normal acceleration direction so now if we if we somehow find the the angle of this a y with this normal axis then we will be able to resolve this a y into the tangential and normal directions so now we can find that if we uh, we know that uh, that velocity that th this was v x and vy was acting downward this was vy and the resultant of both of these was acting in the direction in the tangential direction so if i draw that this is vx vy is acting in the downward direction and in the tangential direction this is the resultant so we can find this angle theta so if i draw that vy somewhere here this is vy and if I apply tan theta to this triangle, so tan theta is Vy divided by Vx. And if we want to find theta, so that will be tan inverse Vy divided by Vx. Now Vy is minus 2.453 and Vx is 8, which is given. So now this is uh, tan inverse minus 2.453 divided by 8 this gives us minus minus 17.05 degrees now the minus sign tells us that the angle is measured in the uh, clockwise direction so this this theta is acting in this direction so now we know since the this since this velocity is acting in the tangential direction so we now know that the tangential axis is making uh, 17.05 degree angle with the horizontal that is with the x axis is. so now we know this angle we know this angle this angle is 17.05 degrees so now let's show that angle so this angle is that theta and which is 17.05 degrees and now if we if we look into this a y so this a y is this a y is making uh, 90 degrees with the x axis and this normal axis is making 90 degree with the tangential axis 
So now if the angle between the tangential axis and the x-axis is 17.05 degrees, then the angle between the normal axis and the y-axis is that same angle which is 17.05 degrees. So now we know that if, if, if this is if this is the normal direction and this is the negative y direction and if we know that the acceleration is acting in the downward direction that is a y which is equal to 9.81 meter per second square and this a y is making that theta which is 17.05 so we can resolve this a y right so this a y will have one component towards the normal axis and that will be this will be a n and similarly uh, we will have uh, one another axis that axis is the tangential axis this is that tangential axis like this and this a y will have one another component in the tangential direction and that component will be acting in the positive 2 t direction and this will be a t so now if we know this angle theta so then a n will be we can write that a n is equal to a y cos of theta since the angle is made with the normal axis so that will be the cos component and a y will be uh, sorry a t will be a t will be a y sin of theta so now let's find this a n will be a y is 9.81 cos of theta and theta is 17.05 degrees so this is 9.81 cos of 17.05 so this gives us the normal component of the acceleration equals 379 meter per second square and similarly the the tangential acceleration will be 9.81 sine of 17.05 so this gives us two point the tangential acceleration is equal to 2.876 meter per second square so this is the in the problem statement we were asked to find y as a function of x this is y as a function of x then we were asked to find the velocity magnitude and then we were asked to find the normal component of the acceleration and the tangential component of the acceleration so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe ingenious academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler dynamics